Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Today I want to talk about traditions of men. You know, why is it that you believe what it is that you believe? From the time that we're born, we're being taught how to do things the way that it's been done. If your father did things a certain way, he's going to teach you as his son how to do the things the way that he has learned to do them. The way maybe his father taught him or whoever it is that he learned from. And it's pretty much the same when it comes to uh, your beliefs, your spiritual beliefs. You know, if you see someone and their parents are Muslim, usually that person will be Muslim. So, you know, it's important to examine this because a lot of people who believe that they're Christians, they call themselves Christians, yet they aren't really Christians. They're false. And this is the reason why is because their belief is because of the traditions and beliefs of their fathers. And in the scriptures, God warns us about this, about following the ways of our fathers, of <clears throat> not coming to Jesus Christ for salvation. He said, if you try to come any other way, you will be a thief and a robber. So, you know, everything that for me, I was raised in the Baptist church and everything that I saw, I went along with it because it's all I ever knew It's what, you know, my parents taught me is what I saw and is what I thought was acceptable. You know, going to the church building, you know, dressing up in your, your best clothes, your suit and your tie sitting in the uh, pews and listening to this man uh, preach a sermon. You know, you, you follow the program. You follow the majority. And this is very dangerous because truth does not lie in the majority. Truth is of Jesus Christ only. And we are to seek him out to find out what he finds acceptable. What's his way? How does he want us to worship him? See, if you just go after what you see other people doing and you just follow along, then you'll be deceived. You'll be deceived that way because you have to go to the only teacher, which is Christ. He said to call no one else teacher, call no other one man teacher for one is your teacher. And that is the Christ. And he's the one who will lead you to all truth by his spirit. If you cry out to him for his way, for his understanding, for his heart and his heart, I can tell you, is not to gather in a building with people who have all kinds of different doctrines. People who continue in sin, people who do not truly, ha truly have a love for souls who have not truly surrendered their lives to Jesus Christ. That's not his way. That's not his heart. And he, he comes against these things in the scriptures, you know, telling us that he's against that, that he wants us to walk in unity, to speak all things the same, to have the same mind, which is the mind of Christ, the heart of Christ, to put off the carnal mind, Put off the old man and walk in newness of life. So these these people and it's very sad to see. I see so many young people who claim to be Christian, claim, you know, they claim to be Muslim. They claim to be all of these different things simply because is what their parents have taught them, because it's what. They see the majority doing and they, they think that there is safety in the majority. But I want to warn you today and I hope that you can hear it and receive it. You have to seek 
God for yourself. Everything. How to worship him. How to praise him. Uh, where he wants you to go, who he wants you to gather with. There is a way that Jesus Christ has shown in his walk for us to follow after him. He has a way for everything, how to dress, how to eat. And if you will acknowledge him in all of your ways by crying out to him for understanding on everything, not leaning to your own way. Not thinking that you know anything or that your parents know anything. See, one thing that a true follower of Christ is going to always teach you is that we don't know anything. Paul said, I know nothing of myself. See, everything that he had came from Christ. Every wisdom, every understanding, all knowledge. He emptied himself out. And he came to God as a little child that Jesus Christ might fill him, fill him with the Holy Spirit and fill him with the truth. And that's the only way to come to God for all of us. We all have to come as little children and sit before the teacher who is Christ. And it takes time. He will cause you to grow from faith to faith. So as you apply faith, the faith the size of a mustard seed, that faith will start to grow as God, who is the author and finisher of our faith. He he will lead you from faith, from one act of faith to the next. As you find out what he finds acceptable and you apply that faith to this one situation, he'll lead you to another and he'll lead you to another and he'll cause you to grow. And you'll learn his way. That's the process. That's how the Lord causes you to grow from the mustard seed into the great large tree. That it, the tree that is where the fowls of the air will be able to come to you now and, and, and sit under you. That you can help others. But if you simply go along with what your parents taught you. Or you go along with what the majority is doing. You see the majority of the world, when they want to know God, they rush off to these church buildings. And these church buildings have their arms open because they're full of false prophets, full of people who have different doctrines. And Jesus warned us. He said that a little leaven, leaven if the whole lump. So... If you have all of these churches and they all have different doctrines, there's obviously leaven somewhere because there's only one truth. And if even a little leaven, 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 if the whole lump, which means a little lie kills everything that they're saying. And if they're all preaching something different, somebody's lying. Somebody has a false doctrine. And I warn you today. You better be crying out to Jesus Christ for the truth, for his way, for what he says, for his doctrine, because there's only one interpretation, only one true interpretation out of everything that's out there. All of these denominations, all of these different doctrines, all of these different opinions of men, there's only one truth, and that is Jesus Christ. And he speaks. He's alive. If you go to him, if you seek him with your whole heart, you knock, keep knocking. He will lead you to all truth. Seek and you will find that is a promise. But the problem is, is that most people never seek. They just follow men. They follow their parents. You know, people that they believe that they can trust. Well, you know, because my mom says this is true, it must be true. Rather than going to Jesus Christ and seeking him, you know, that's the mistake. That's a big mistake. And there's only one way to the Father. That's through Jesus Christ. So you have to work out your salvation with fear and trembling before him and him alone. 
because he's the only mediator between you and God, not the pastor, not the bishop. You will stand before Jesus Christ to be judged and nobody will be there with you. It'll be you and the deeds that you have done in this life. The, the, what have you done to redeem the time that has been allotted to you by God? Did you use that time to cry out to him, to seek him, to fast, to pray? To seek and get understanding of what it is that God wants from you or did you go your own way? Did you believe that you knew what was best for you? Did you seek this world and, and the things of this world, the things that are temporary? Or did you learn to be spiritually minded, to search out the things of the spirit by the spirit? Because only the, the Spirit of God can search out the things that are of the Spirit. So you must be born again. You must be filled with the Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ is the way to do that. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments and I'll come to you and make my home with you. And he said that those that don't love him, don't keep his commandments. So it's very simple. The, the gospel of Jesus Christ is very simple, not easy, but simple. Hear the son of God and obey him. Find out what he finds acceptable, holy and acceptable in his sight. You have to be. Find out what he says. He says that. You know, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. What's causing you to sin? What's causing you to stay, be bound and stay where you at? It takes a striving. It takes uh, 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 every effort to enter into the kingdom of God. Uh, it takes humility, humbling yourself, recognizing that you are nothing but dust. And that you need God, you need Christ, or you'll remain in darkness, or you'll always be thirsty. You know, the things of this world will please you for some time, but you'll always come back and be thirsty again. But Jesus Christ has the water of life where you'll never thirst again. There's nothing like that treasure. So I wanted to uh, make this video and give this warning because for 29 years, I was stuck in great darkness and following the traditions of my father and uh, going along with what I with what I saw in this world and and, you know, moving with the majority until the Lord set me free. And he taught me his way. He caused me to grow spiritually. So, you know, now I want to help someone else to find the truth, to find Jesus Christ. Few there be that find him because few ever seek. Few ever seek with their whole hearts from a sincere and humble heart, broken and contrite. Godly sorrowful, if you ever do it because of the many distractions in this world, because of them following men, the traditions of men, you know, this, where, these men who wear the suits, drive the nice cars, these pastors who, you know, they love to get honor from one another. They love the prestige, the look of righteousness, but they're wolves in sheep's clothing. And we've been warned time and time again by the Lord to beware of these men. But people still want to take them lightly as if, you know, the little leaven that they're preaching doesn't matter. But it, the little leaven matters. It leaveneth the whole lump. 
is dangerous, is poison. And if you continue to abide under it, woe unto you. Woe unto you. You're playing with your soul. You're playing with your children's soul and those who might listen to you. Take God seriously. Take your soul seriously. Don't follow men who preach a different gospel. There's one, like I said, there's one interpretation. Make sure that you go to the one who holds the keys to the kingdom, who holds all of everything, which is Jesus Christ. He came here to show us the way to life. Follow him and you'll live. Be blessed.